Okay. Let's jump into a little Straight music, uh, actual music. Uh, Father of Asad. Did y'all listen to Khaled's album? Anybody? I checked it out. Yes, no, I did. What you think, man? Uh, it's a pop commercial appealing to the masses. Mm. It's a easy listening record to those that appreciate the current climate of music today. Mm. I thought we weren't going to talk about shit if not all of us wanted to talk about it. <laughs> 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 I, I listen to it. That's Who's why I'm asking. Like, like, who actually it. raps on it? Oh, there's Everybody? like 40 features. So. Nas is on there again. I like the Nipsey and John Legend song is yeah. okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I, the, I thought that one was good. I like well, the Nas and CeeLo. That one was cool. I don't like the scissor because they redid uh, Miss Sorry, Miss Jackson. 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 And that's Khaled's whole formula to me, man. I don't, I don't really care for you redoing certain songs. Uh, Especially when they're so big. Yeah. Because he did that uh, Santana joint, too. Yeah, he did. Big record. With Rihanna, but that worked. That was a big that record. That definitely no. worked. Did and it was because Rihanna was singing on but, that shit. But worked and okay, being okay with it are two different things. I think you because know, like, I'm coming from a different place where like I'm thinking yeah. about what's going to work in the club. That so joint, I understand that what joint you're saying. Was, that joint was successful. So I yeah. always, you know, whenever I would have a chance to talk to like artists, they'd ask me, what do I think of the song? I said... Like, don't ask me if I like it. Ask me if I think it'll work. There you go. There you go. But and I, I give no fucks. I think it's trash. <laughs> I know. I, it, it no, I'm talking to this but mic. I can't fucking... No matter how... I got to... Yep. Every time I touch it, it's like... Crank, crank, crank. Like for the last <laughs> hour, dude. Like, Sean... Is Sean, it too I keep tight? looking at Sean and, Is it like, too tight? Probably. I just <laughs> fucking won't if you, if you listen like it a little up. child. Like, if you listen <laughs> it, it won't do that. No, but, uh, you know, I did like the... You know... Cardi's got another banger you're not going to be able to get away from. I don't yep. care. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, the Cardi joint is cold, though. Uh, the Rick Ross the joint Rick Ross and Jeezy. Cold, too. Um, yeah, I like the joint just got Chris uh, Brown man. featured. Like, there's yeah. a lot of records I see that are going to get played I put over it and over like this, this summer. It's a lot of, a lot of summer too, joints though. on there. It's an album that, that works, it, and it works because of exactly how I explained it earlier. Yeah. I, you know it, what I'm saying? That's exactly what I would expect it to sound like without me listening to it. Mm -hmm. I... I, ha I didn't have to hear the album to understand what the structure was going to be, how it's going to be formatted, the fact it's going to have 45 features and a whole bunch of attempts at hit records. Well, like Khaled doesn't rap himself. I no, mean, but he I just do. puts people in a room. He doesn't does really he produce. produce. Nah, they not give really. Him credit. They give He's him like credit. He's like a modern-day Diddy. They give him credit. Yeah. They give him producer credit. I think Diddy credit. actually pressed some keys, though. Well, I mean, okay. like there's a, there's a difference between a producer and a beat maker. Everybody yeah. will acknowledge that. But they give. I don't know if they he was either. <laughs> like I don't think they he give Khaled. They give Khaled a lot of peas as a producer, and I'm like, yo, in my opinion, you know a lot of people, but and you you built a lot of relationships. He still has to. But that's what a these but that's songs. what a producer historically is. Historically, I, that's what yeah. I'm getting to. So that's that's fine. But what I'm saying is, he's not making the music. He has nothing to do with the actual music. It's more about, okay, let me fit the pieces and together. And that's what gets lost in translation. That's the part I'm talking about. He's very, very fortunate. But the flip side to that is that's a lesson because you learn how to cultivate relationships. Yep. He's benefiting off that, mm -hmm. right? For like sure. He's built these dope I relationships mean, over the past, and now people are coming to bat for him with his him. album time. Yeah, like that's dope. Like That's a part of the game. So you can't they really do it knock every you for year that. for him. I mean, he drops an album every single year. I wonder how that, all that... Just out of what curiosity, the, what the splits like, are. Yeah. Oh my god, oh, man! I'm just, just. I wonder how. I wonder if it's like complex or real simple. You I know what I mean? I, mean, I don't care about how much money people I bet make or any shit like that. I'm just curious because I bet the splits are pretty crazy. 40 MCs and hey, that shit 10 producers up. or five producers or it's whatever. Just, and, it's chopped up. And if there's a sample, you know, yeah, it's chopped if, up. If if. One record does better than the other. Do all thirty nine get a little no. piece, or like just that dude? Well, or, it's, and it's you know what I'm like, like four well, it's, videos. It's still the same based, day. Well, the publishing is based upon per record, so mm -hmm. it, okay. song individual songs. So gotcha. if there, you've got thirty people on one song, that's split thirty different ways. Yep. by fifty percent, right? Yeah, and because the publishing company owns half of that. Okay, so, so it's not that if he owns his own though. publishing company, then he's getting that on the other side of if that. If he has a We the Best publishing, which I'm sure he does, you know he does. Yeah, yeah so he's he eating does. off that side. Yeah, but um, but it's it's tracked individually per song. So, gotcha. so y'all really think that that Diddy didn't press any keys? He might have done something. Didn't do nothing. I don't think he play. I don't press. I don't think he pressed keys when we're talking about the production standpoint. He didn't do anything at Uptown. Instrument. It, on, on instruments, mm -hmm. I, I highly doubt it. Nothing. I he just highly dances, doubt it. Right? He's a dancer. He now, was a dancer and he was a uh, videographer, photographer. Well, he was he? a dancer for uh, Father MC. Well, 
But what, what, but when it was time, when it was time for, he Ready shot Outcast for his video too. Yeah, he did. That, yeah. He's in that mug too. When when um when it's time for Ready to Die to be the track listing to come up, I'm saying features, before that, before that. No, I don't think he's involved with the production or anything like that. That's what the hitman and the Easy people Mo that he B. reached out for, <laughs> Mo B, all these types of dudes. He like, might I be in the room. That's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Sure, but he, he's he not. might be mixing and mastering and and turn this up, turn this down, and that type of stuff. <clears throat> like, hey, what if you change the snare? All right, cool. But that's not making it. It's not no. like RZA on Thirty Six Chambers. He, I think he ends up becoming the producer on certain tracks or labeled as such because he bought the sample. And Could I think be. sometimes when you do that, depending upon how all that stuff works out, it t- it takes a dope or ear licensed to licensed it or whatever yeah. it is. However, he has to work it out. It takes right. a dope ear to arrange Absolutely. songs. I'm not gonna try. To, I'm you not gonna shit that. on Diddy. Well, no. I can't knock him. Even, even if I'm mistaken, you you keep me honest. I know you'll know this. Is DJ Premier not listed as the producer for Unbelievable? Oh yeah, he's he's listed as the sole producer for Unbelievable. He uh, like actually in the credits. Yeah. Okay, I thought there was some song that. Somebody produced that it actually says Puffy. <laughs> but no, but I mean because like, <laughs> because just like the RZA is, is listed for the what, like you know, yeah, okay, there right. there are people like something like All About the Benjamins. That was Primo, right? Yeah, the what? Yeah, <laughs> with Method. or was it? Was it? No, yeah, no, no, that was the yeah. No, no RZA did. Um, RZA did Long, long Kiss. kiss that's long right. Kiss. Yeah, yeah. Um, did Long Kiss. The what was on the Blue Chronicles and. The, wasn't it? No, it was on what? Ready to Die. It was on Ready to Die. Mm-hmm. You get confused with something else. Yeah, you get But no, there was a there was a was there there was another version that was on the Wu Chronicles version. Remix. Was that no. with Method Man? Was it a remix? No, because like, no, like Method Man was only the featured original. on Ready to Die. I can't remember. The only yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but so no. that's actually where I heard it from. Random, but anyways, huh. okay. Yeah. But gotcha. like when you um, what, like okay, one of the stories I heard about Puffy in the studio was when it was time to do all about the Benjamins. Yeah, and. The original version where it has the breakdown where big raps, they just have this crazy kind of chopped up, sped up loop of the Jackson 5's um, So Great to Be Here. Yeah. You know, uh, but Puff is like, we already, I already paid for that sample. Right. That's Just go ahead and play it. <laughs> that's, mm. that's, right. the that's the point the most I was That's the melodic. That's his point. That's the yes. melodic part of the yeah. record that's yeah. going to make people dance. That's his point. You know, yeah. so. Does I Puff cra- have a great ear? Yeah, absolutely. Sure. I'm not trying to take anything yeah. away from him. I think he's... I, I'm just saying I don't. To your point, to your original question, like was he touching cat? Yeah, maybe, 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 maybe MP- a few on an NPC. No. I don't think his where he's. I don't think that's his. You vibe. know what's funny though? So his son, every song that his son comes out with, yeah, is a remake. Every single one. It's so nineties. He does did. not have any original beat on none of his shit. He redid Case and. Uh, yep, redid Touch Case. Me, was it Touch Me Teaser? Yep, yep. he yep. redid that. Yeah, uh, I can't even remember all the shit he redid, but King all Combs. of them are redid. redid. Yeah. Interesting. Sean, what were you saying? You were gonna say something? Well, I f- no, I was actually I was thinking to myself I was like, well, maybe I got the songs mixed up, but no, I was right. That is where I heard that song from. Okay. So. Yeah, and to Jay's point, it's kind of funny. Uh, Method Man is the only featured person on that album. That's crazy. Really? Sadat X was supposed to be on it, but they cut that song. Yeah, that's uh, on. Come on. Yep. <clears throat> yep. Come on, motherfucker. And they said that's when crazy. they went when to go do it. Born Again. Mm. Like Puffy never called Method Man to be like, "Hey, you should come do a track, or we should do." You know what I mean? But yeah. Yo, if you think about it, that song's got my favorite M verse on it. Meth, <laughs> Meth has been on. Think about that. Like him and Red was on All Eyes on Me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like oh, he's yeah. been on. He was on Ready to Die and All Eyes on Me. That's tough. You know that Have song. Y'all seen you the know that Mice song was Man? supposed to be for Lady of Rage. Say again. That song. That was supposed to be a no kidding. Rage. Wow! If you listen, like you hear at the end, I am the rebel. Yes, that, they cut that verse out. That was supposed to be uh, Inspector Deck. Yeah, on that. I did know that part. Yeah, yeah. which How song is this? I got my mind made got up. My that was mind supposed made to be up. Ready to Rage. Get, get into it. That yeah. song yeah. on Pac's album. Yep. So now, have y'all seen the Wu Tang of Mice and of Mikes and Men? I, I have not seen it. No, but seen it. need to, man. Yeah, yeah. that's just it's good. Yeah. I feel bad because I had I hear so many people that are credible talking about how great it is, but I haven't had a chance to see it's it yet. A, it's a good show. I gotta it's get a show. I gotta get a show talk time about. Code. I need a show time. Yeah, hey, no, if anybody no, got a show yeah, time, yeah, show time code. Boy. I need. I need that. Yeah, yeah. holla at your boy. Yeah, Put that in the comments. How to use them internets? Learn how to use them. I also need to see out there the just side the Sublime documentary that just came out at the Tribeca Film Festival. I want to see that. Yeah, I need to check that out too. So. Oh, and the Five Fat Five Freddy has a great documentary on Netflix yep. about uh, 
basically. The grass is greener, right? The grass yeah, is greener. I've seen it's, some of yeah. that. It's because it could just be another goofy marijuana, like, hey, man, I'm about getting hot. No. It's it a does, good duck. It's That's, really good. I was telling somebody, I was like, it's not a Cheech and Chung, like, just stoner thing. It's actually, like, takes you through the history of, like, marijuana laws in yep. the country and all yeah. that yeah. stuff. And Salam Remy did that soundtrack. Yeah, yeah, yeah he did. Awesome. Did y'all listen that. to the um to uh Tyler the Creator Igor? I did. As a music nerd, I loved it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. Like no, Tyler. it's on my list though. I like yeah. Tyler. As a I music like Tyler. nerd, I loved it. He's he's way more talented than I thought. You can hear the um yeah. the uh Pharrell influence in a my No question. No question. Yeah. Shout out to Griselda too. They were on Sway, uh, and they talked about um, I think Conway's first release, and uh, I think it's called "What Would Sheen Gun Do?" It's, it's a uh, ode to their homie that passed away. Suppose what back it's in Benny's those six brother, yeah. it was Benny's brother. Yeah. Okay, so they all were on there. West Side Gun, Conway, Benny. They freestyled, and I'm really, really excited to hear that album. So yeah. shout out to those brothers as well. Uh, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Longevity, DJ J Diff. DJ Spools, Jay Moore, Cato, Red August, I am Major 7. Make sure you go to patreon.com backslash new old heads for all of our material. Sign up. We got giveaways, raffles, wax, etc. We appreciate everybody for the support, and we will see y'all next week. Peace. Yeah.